find the mean deviation about the mean for the following data. We have some values. This is our table xi and fi 2, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12 and fir 2, 8, 10, 7, 8 and 5. Now pause the video. Try this on your own first. Okay, let's do this together. So we have some values xir 2, 5, 6, 8, 10 and 12 and they have their corresponding frequencies. In this data set we have 2 appearing twice, 5 appearing 8 times, 6 appearing 10 times and so on. We have to find the mean deviation about the mean. So the first step is to figure out what the mean is. So for that let's add all of these values. 2 is appearing twice so let's multiply 2 by 2. 5 is appearing 8 times so let's multiply 5 by 8. Let's create another column. We have fixi. 2 times 2 is 4, 5 times 8 is 40, 6 times 10 is 60, 8 times 7 56, 10 times 8 80 and 12 times 5 is 60. Now let's add this second column and the third column. So all the frequencies added together will give us 2 plus 8 is 10, 10 plus 10 20, 27, 35, 40. So we have 40 values in our data set and the sum of all of those values will be given by summation fi xi that's going to be 40 plus 60 is 100, 156 plus 4 is 160, 160 plus 80 is 240, 240 plus 60 is 300. It's all right. So all of these values added together is 300 and we have 40 such values. So using these two we can figure out the mean. N is sum of all the frequencies, that's 40. And sigma fi xi, sum of all of these values, that's 300. Which means our mean is going to be 300 by 40 summation of all of these values divided by total number of values that's going to be 300 by 40 that's 7.5 so now we have the mean and now we have to figure out the mean deviation about the mean so for that let's create another column this is mod of xi minus x bar this is the absolute difference of all of these values from the mean so what's the distance between 2 and 7.5 that's 5.5 5 and 7.5 are 2.5 units apart 6 and 7.5 so 6 minus 7.5 is minus 1.5 we'll take the absolute value that's 1.5 8 minus 7.5 that's 0.5 10 minus 7.5 that's 2.5 12 minus 7.5 that's going to be 4.5 so this is mod of xi minus x bar now let's multiply these distances with their frequencies because 2 is appearing twice 5.5 this deviation is also appearing twice so 2 times 5.5 that's going to be 11 8 times 2.5 that's going to be 16 plus 4 that's 20 let's create another table for this fi times xi minus x bar mod so 2 times 5.5 that's 11 8 times 2.5 that's 20 10 times 1.5 that's 15 7 times 0.5 that's 3.5 8 times 2.5 that's 20 5 times 4.5 that's 20 plus 2.5 that's going to be 22.5 now let's add all of these values so 11 plus 20 is 31 plus 15 is 46 46 plus 20 is 66 66 plus 20 is 86 86 plus 3 is 89 plus 2 91 plus 0.5 and 0.5 that's 92 okay so we have all of these values summed together that's 92 now we're ready to figure out the mean deviation about the mean. Let's write this down first. Sum of all of these values is 92. The mean deviation about the mean is going to be 1 by n times sigma i equals to 1 to 6 fi mod xi minus x bar. Think about this as the average deviation. 92 is the total deviation and because we have 40 values, we're dividing 92 by 40. So 92 by 40, that's going to be, if we divide by 4, that's 20 plus 3, 23 by 10 that's going to be 2.3 so 2.3 is the mean deviation about the mean for this data set all right let's summarize these steps to find the mean deviation about mean the first step is to find the sum of product of observations with their respective frequencies that's sigma i equals to 1 to n fi xi then we use this to find the mean that's going to be sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi the numerator has the sum of all the values and the denominator is the total number of values. So this gives us the mean. We can also write this as 1 by n of sigma fi xi. Then we find the deviations of observations from the mean and take their absolute values. This is mod of xi minus x bar. We create a new column for this. Then we multiply this with their frequencies and take the sum of all of that. 
we find the sum of product of deviations from mean with their respective frequencies. That's sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar. And finally, we divide this with n to get the mean deviation about the mean. So that's sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar divided by sigma fi. Or we can write this as 1 by n of sigma fi mod of xi minus x bar. fi is the frequency. Mod of xi minus x bar is the absolute value of the deviation from the mean. So that's the formula for mean division about the mean. And before we use this, we have to first figure out the mean.